Hi kids, I hope you all enjoying this VBS. Third day topic is showing much interest. That means leader shows interest in what he believes. Uh, second missionary, uh, his name is Alexander Silva. The previous story we, we saw about Alexander Tuck. Now we're going to see about the testimony of Alexander Silva. Alexander Silva is also a, a man with a committed heart, a zealous person for Lord Jesus Christ. He had a passion to for a nation India. When he came to India, the needs that he saw is there are many missionaries who were already working in India, but uh, believers and, uh, and other workers, Christian workers, uh, they are just uh, simply uh, not concentrating on the other people groups. They were just uh, uh, daily church goers, every week church goers. Or else you can say the, they are just few warmers. So what he decided in his heart is uh, to train uh, the local workers, Christian workers, local Christian workers and believers to reach. They, that's the duty. Because the, the laborers, the harvest is plenty. The laborers are very few according to the word of Lord Jesus Christ. So he, he had a, this thought in his mind that the laborers must be trained. So the harvest is plenty here in India, but the laborers are very few. So he decided to train the local workers and the believers to reach out the neighbors. So for that, he conducted many trainings for them. So as a result, uh, many uh, he could see the many uh, 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 many people coming to the Lord Jesus Christ because of training. The other important thing, not only that, you are not only consider the spiritual things, you also consider more, much more on the physical needs of the nation, where he worked. He worked in uh, Arakona, which is nearby the Tamil Nadu, which is nearby the Chennai, is away from, from Chennai, it is uh, uh, 60 kilometers away from Chennai. So there he, uh, he worked there, he worked, the needs that he saw is, uh, the needs that he saw is the schools, village schools. He started a village, 22 village schools. Uh, in that village school, 789 students were studied, they were educated, they were sent out from the school. And also he started the apprenticeship uh, for work, of the, who can learn some new words. You know? the apprenticeship is a basic thing for learning, uh, so for learning some new words. So that school he, was, he started. In that, uh, many were trained. Uh, some of the some of the students who are trained in the apprentice school, they become uh, teachers there. And then uh, he, the need there was a uh, uh, say in India everywhere in every corner of India that we go travel. No, the main problem in India that we face is the communal problem, the caste system. Everywhere the caste system. Higher class, the lower class caste system. There's a great division among the people within ourselves. So, because of this division, the, the place there, very, the, the mission field very worked in our corner. The very the problem that we saw among the people is, people were not, the lower class people, as the outcast people like Dalits were not given uh, freedom to go to the well, to fetch water, or they were not given a, a space to study in the school. So these were the great problems uh, the, the Dutch, uh, Dalit people, the, the lower class people were encountered by the higher class people. They, dip, they, they separated them out of the community. They were considered them as outcast. Higher class people considered the lower class people as the outcast. So as a result, no, he, saw, he, this, he saw this thing as a great barrier. So in order to unite everyone together, so he gave, he started, uh, he started to meet the need of the first, he started to meet the need of the uh, Dalit people. So he started to uh, build a separate uh, well for them to fetch water for all the uh, Dalit people. So now 
when they but the Dalit people got the well, so they no need to go and stand in a queue and begging for water from the higher class people. So sometimes they give, sometimes they don't give, sometimes they reject, they send them away. But uh, uh, when they were when they had their own well, so he he raised money, he built uh, Alexander still raised money, he built a well for the Dalit people. So everyone had an opportunity to take fetch water from the well. And then also he built, uh, he started many village schools, 22 village schools. In that, uh, 789 uh, students were educated. Uh, and out of 789 students, 162 were Christians. All of them from the low caste people, they all educated. And also he gave them uh, a freedom to dwell. So for that he started new villages with all facilities. So this gave them a way for, uh, for the lower caste class people to accept the Lord Jesus Christ. He, not, he did not, he did not, he did not, he did concentrate not only on the spiritual area, he also concentrated on the physical needs of the, the lower class people. Whereas um, uh, Alexander Tuck, he concentrated on the higher class people, they should receive the Lord Jesus Christ. But he brought the reformation through education. But Alexander Silva, he concentrated on the grassroots workers, every believers to have a Lord uh, must reach out, do the evangelism work. And also, he gave uh, importance to physical needs of the poor people. That made everyone to accept the Lord Jesus Christ. He also started the hostel. So village, the poor people, you know, they had to travel to uh, long distance. They had to make a long ride to go to school. So the transportation was not proper transportation. They were not uh, uh, accepted by everyone. They were neglected by the society. So in order to uh, uh, encourage uh, people to study, the lower class people to study, to educate themselves. Uh, so he started a hostel. So the hostel helped the lower class people to stay in, this, in the compound, in the campus, study well, get educated, uh, get well educated. When they came out, they came out like a flying colors. And uh, the, not only the higher class people, even the lower class people, they got well educated. They were equally uh, came up in the society among the Hindu, uh, higher class Hindus. So oh, that irrit gave a irritation to the higher class, even though that gave irritation to the higher class Hindu, he kept on doing the good works. When Jesus Christ was on earth, you know, what he did, no? He kept on doing the good works. He did a good work. How about you, children? Are you ready to do the good works? People around you? People need. People are, you know, we are in the society to shake the world to shake the community. We are the tool to shake. As Alexander did, Silva did the great thing for the, for the people of Aracona. How about in your vicinity? How about in your neighborhood? How about your friends? Are you ready to share the gospel with them? Are you ready to do the good works with, the, with your neighbors? If you do the good works, as Lord Jesus Christ did good works, throughout his, his life career. How about you? Are you ready to do the good works? If you do that, we can do great things for God. And also, the other physical need Alexander Silva did is, he, did, he built hospitals, treated many patients. No, he never left anyone. He gave education. He gave, he gave a well treatment to the poor people. For poor people, he built hospitals. So, Health and education was a key priority uh, did by Alexander Silva. Alexander Silva came with a passion to help our nation. He did a great work. He died. He, he, and he died. He went to the Lord Jesus Christ with a great reward. When we do great things for God, we will receive the reward from the Lord Jesus Christ. Children, I hope this two missionary biography may help you a lot. So what we have learned that they were, these two, guys, two missionaries were the great reformers. They did great thing for our nation, though they were living in a very far nation. With a great commitment, 
with a great burden they came to our nation they they sacrificed everything they gave everything for our country how about you are you ready to give everything for your for your own people if you do that god will bless you Now join with me everybody sing I'm gonna lift my voice to glorify my king He is a mighty God and worthy of our praise We give him everything he's good in every way Come on now join with me everybody sing I'm gonna lift my voice to glorify my king He is a mighty God and worthy of our praise. We give him everything, he's good in every way. He is always there for us. He's good in every way. Pouring out his awesome love. He's good in every way. He fills us up with peace and joy. He's good in every way. He gives us all we need and more. He's good in every way. interactive okay so i'm going to say god is good and you're going to say oh yes okay you're going to say oh yes okay so god is good oh 
Yes. Okay. You, uh, I can't hear you all say it, but I, I know you're good children, so I know you're gonna say it. So uh, throughout this time, I'm gonna be doing this. Okay. So let's get into what we have in store. So uh, all this time, like these past two days, we've been listening about how we need to have uh, how a leader has to have vision. We learned about how a leader needs to be systematic. Now we're going to see how a leader needs to have interest in what he does. And we're going to look at a specific person in the Bible and his name is Paul. So uh, I'm going to talk about three instances about Paul and uh, how he showed his interest uh, in what he did. So Paul, as you all know, uh, he... He, he, uh, he his heart changed jesus changed his heart he spoke to god spoke to him and uh, he started preaching the gospel right so the first instance is where paul goes to a synagogue it's like a church for the jews and he goes and listens to, uh, listens to them and after they finished reading the laws and the prophets uh, the, the one of the leaders he said if you have anything to encourage us about just uh, just go ahead and talk and Paul immediately he stood up and took that chance and he started sharing about Jesus. He shared about how Jesus was revealed even back in the Old Testament. So uh, the first quality to be a leader who has interest that we see in, in Paul is that he immediately stood up and was able to take the chance and opportunity to share the gospel. And just like how he did, we need to be able to take opportunities, right? And, okay, so uh, we're done with the first one. And God is good. Can I hear you say, oh, yes? One, two, three, go. Oh, yes. Okay, that's great. And now we're going to look at the second part of what Paul did. So here, uh, he again goes to another synagogue. And he preaches the gospel. And you know what happens? Uh, some other, uh, some of the Jews who did not believe in him, many people believed in him. Many Jews, many Gentiles, they believed in him. But some of those people who did not believe him, they just came and uh, spoke into the ears of other people saying what he's, uh, what he's doing is wrong. And the Bible says they came and they poisoned their minds. Okay? You know, like... Uh, many a times, even in our, our classmates, some of them, they just talk wrong about us in secret, right? So that's how these people did. And you know what? Uh, the Bible says that, therefore, they stayed there a long time speaking boldly in the Lord. And because of that, they just stayed there for a long time and they were continuing to speak. Many times in our daily lives, we just want to you know, for example, let's say your school uh, starts at 9, nine o'clock and it ends at 3.30. And suddenly your teacher comes and says, you know what, you have to stay till uh, night 9 o'clock. How much of a shock would that be, right? But then, you know, when we look at Paul, he had so much interest in what he did that he was willing to stay there for a long time. And that showed his interest, right? So that's the second part of it. Okay, now moving on to the last part. Before that, God is good. Wow. Oh, yes. So, let's move on to the next part. And here, it talks about how... Um, uh, Paul is talking to another disciple. His name is Barnabas. So, what he says is, let's go, Let us now go back and visit our brethren... In every city where we have preached the word of the Lord and see how they are doing. So what he says to Barnabas is, he says, uh, let's go back to all the cities. Like uh, he, Paul, he preached to so many cities. Uh, he preached the gospel to them. And he says to Barnabas, let's go back there and see what they are doing. See how they are doing. And like when we look at our lives, you know, when we want to just, uh, when we have work, we just want to quickly finish it off. And then we just we would now want to turn back and look back at it, right? Uh, for example, like uh, after we finish our 10th standard exam, uh, and like we're done with the exam, would we ever want to go back to the same books and read it again? No, right? So that's how. Uh, but then 
when we look at Paul, he was not like that. He was ready to, to uh, go back because he had so much interest in the people to whom he preached. And he wanted to check on them. And this shows his interest. And, you know, uh, especially when it comes to Christianity, like, you know, for uh, Paul, Jesus, you know, they had so much interest in people. They wanted to give their lives to the point that, uh, 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 to the point of death and they wanted to share the gospel and uh, before we finish let's just uh, get on to the memory verse it's Acts chapter 20 verse 24 um, it says but none of these things move me nor do I count my life dear to me I don't count my life dear to me um, so that I may finish my race with joy so you know what Paul's race was? It was not just the running race that we do. It was a race where he had to share the gospel to people. And with that, he had a lot of persecution. People were hitting him, killing him, stoning him. But then, you know what? He says that I may finish my race with joy. He has joy in it. And that's the interest that he carried in him. And the ministry which I received from the Lord Jesus to testify to the gospel of the grace of God. So this is our memory verse for today. Acts chapter 20 verse 24. Let's just quickly pray and then we'll finish. Uh, Heavenly Father, thank you for this time that you have given us to learn more about you. We saw about how Paul was uh, ready to take a chance that was given to him. He was ready to boldly go ahead and speak to, uh, speak to those people about who you are. And he was also ready to stay for a long time. He, he didn't care about time. He didn't care about his life. And, and he also was ready to check on the work that he already had finished. God, and this shows how much interest that Paul had, God. And just like how much interest he had in your ministry, God, as, uh, as we turn into leaders, God, let us also have uh, interest in what we do. And especially when it comes to uh, the gospel, Lord, let us be bold like Paul and interested uh, in others like Paul. Uh, so that um, we may glorify your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Uh, God is good? Oh yes. So see you all tomorrow. And till then, bye.